Welcome back to Juicy Tech YouTube channel and podcast. My name is Ario D. Juice, um, aka Juice. This is a podcast and also YouTube channel. I'll leave the link to the podcast in the box below for this YouTube channel. We have um, a lot of different episodes already live, and we are trying to get the um, podcast over to Apple and Google Podcasts before the year is over. So pray for us. Like this video to support. If you like the content, of course, if you enjoy multiple content on this channel, be sure to subscribe. And I just pray to God we continue to bring value to you as much as possible so you may benefit, you know, as, as much as possible, basically. So that's what we do here. Put out valuable information so you can just succeed in life, evolve, and become a better person and live like kings and queens that you are. So without further ado, let's talk about today's um, interesting topic. Now, I want to talk about this because I um, experienced this before, right? This is my second time receiving this. Um, what I'm going to show you. So basically, um, scammers in today's world, nowadays, maybe I'm just new to this. I don't know because I'm, I've never really experienced this before until this year. But um, nowadays, scammers are sending checks to people, right? You can see this check is made for $2,450. I think it's right, right? Uh, yeah, $2,450, right? Okay, so what's going on is this. I received this this check in mail, right, USPS, from this person, okay? Now, I'm not saying this person is who, who sent, I'm not sure, whatever, but um, this is a scam. I'm, I'll explain to you how this is a scam. So, inside this envelope, there was a piece of paper that I threw away by mistake. And in this, uh, um, this envelope, the instructions were for me to take this check, right, and to go deposit it this check into my bank account and once the funds are made available in my account for $2,450 the scammers wanted me to take that money the $2,450 and go buy things with it all right those things that they wanted me to buy this particular scammer they wanted me to go ahead and purchase gift cards and um, take pictures back in front of the gift cards and send them to them via email photos right they think I'm that gullible to, to do something that silly. The reason for it is because they are trying to test the cars or some kind of nonsense like that because they're an agency that tests cars and blah, 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 blah. Scam. A bunch of BS. Some people fall victim to this type of stuff. And I'm just hoping you watch this and you take, you know, um, you, you're just aware that this is not real. You know, receiving a, a, a large sum of money via check or via, I'm sorry, via USPS or whatever carrier receiving that type of fund from someone you don't know or recognize or a company or entity that you don't recognize or never spoken with or even if you did speak to that person no one does this like no normal person or company does stuff like that send money to people via mail to go buy things especially a company it, it just doesn't work out that way because you can take that money and run off with it that's especially a cashier's check like this is anyway what, this, what does this have to do with juicy tech or the tech industry or coding? Because some people are also receiving checks like this or for a lot more money, right? 5000 to go and purchase computer equipment to work from home. Now, that's where this ties into the tech because a lot of people work from home. A lot of software engineers work from home. You know, people in those fields, a lot of them work from their house. And I'm just hoping that you're one, you're that person once you see this, once you see yourself receive something like this in mail, and it's for whatever job that wants you to work from home, and they want you to go and purchase equipment by using this money that they sent you, go buy the equipment. Now, here's the tricky part. You go buy the equipment from these, you know, this, this scammer, right? They have, their, they have their own vendors, and they want you to go purchase the equipment from their vendor. It's the same people. It's the scammers. It's just one giant scam operation. They don't want you to go on Amazon and buy or Walmart. No, they want you to go up and to buy buy the equipment at their vendor. It's just all a scam. Once you take the once you withdraw the money from your account from this check, and you go out there and buy whatever they want you to buy, they just stole the money and they won't give it back to you. And now you owe the bank that money that you withdraw from your account, and the bank wants your money back. They well, they they want their money back because the the, the check is not real. It's a fake check. So now you owe the bank whatever amount of money, and they may even just close your account, and you still owe the money back to the bank. This is insane. Uh, this is how people get scammed. Again, what does, what does this have to do with tech? 
because it's work from home and a lot of tech jobs are work from home. So I'm hoping maybe some people out there are just so desperate where they might receive a email from a recruiter that they want to hire you as whatever, you know, put position or job title. And they, and they want to send you a check to go buy the equipment so you can work from home. So this is not my first time receiving stuff like this. The first time I got it was from a, a company wanting me to buy equipment from them, right? Their vendor. It's the same thing. Scam operation. The thing is, I'm very, <laughs> I was, I'm very smart, but I'm a thinker. Why would someone send me a check for 5000 or whatever amount of money and go buy equipment from their vendor? So once I buy this stuff, how do I know you're not going to send it to or you're not going to send it to me, right? And besides all that, I don't know who these people are. I never spoke to them via Zoom, nothing. They just got my information and sent me a check to go buy computer equipment to work from home. So I'm just hoping, I pray to God, you watch, you watching this information, you take heed to what's going on. And you not fall victim to a scam operation like this. Because some people are desperate and thirsty for money or job. I get it. You're looking for work. I understand. But some people are so desperate. Where they are willing to not use their brains and realize this is a scam that they are experiencing right now. And they think this is a real check. They think this is a real check. And it's not. You're going to get scammed. And I'm just hoping, I pray to God, this video, it, you come across it online, YouTube, and you watch it and realize and you know really understand, hey, this is not normal for me to receive this type of money from whomever. And they want me to go buy something with this money that they're just giving me. Why are you sending people money via USPS or whatever carrier? Why are you sending money this high amount of, you know, um, <laughs> this is a lot of money. And again, you can just take this and just run with it, right? Not, not even buy what they want you to buy with it. So that's just, to me, another sign that this may be a scam. This is not normal. This is not normal at all. It's not. And I just, again, I pray to God you realize and you watch this video or whatever message you get from wherever source, realizing this is not normal. This is a scam operation. Again, what does this have to do with tech? Because it's work from home. A lot of jobs work from home. I'm just hoping you might get a a, 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 re, a recruiter that works. That's a tech recruiter or whatever. I'm not saying it happens, but it's possible because I've, I've had this happen to me before, where a recruiter for a you know a, a work from home position wanted me to go and purchase equipment with their check so I can start working from home. So I'm hoping again, it's possible that a tech recruiter may want to send you a check. And have you work from home after you buy the equipment from their vendors? You see, you see how it's all connected. So I, this is just a video to get out this message, you know, so you can just share it with somebody and not fall victim to this type of scam because it's happening. Maybe I'm new to this, but <laughs> maybe I'm just so late to the party. But I don't know. I'm still gonna put out this information for whomever to watch so they don't fall victim to these horrible people trying to take advantage of you and they know how desperate you are with with you just trying to find a worker money they know how desperate you are where you are willing to actually go down to your local bank and cash this nonsense this trash into your account and ruin your life because a lot of banks they sometimes close the account because they want their money back they want the money that you spent from this check back this is this not a real check. So you're you're in trouble. And I don't want that for you. Again, no one told me about this. I didn't hear this from anyone. I just I was just smart enough to realize, hey, who does this? Who sends people money over the on, on, on not online, but via mail to go buy goods for whatever goods it is? Who does that? Nobody. The answer is nobody. And if they did it, they'll contact you if, if they if, if they really knew you. Maybe even if they did, it's still cringy. It's still not right. If the company really wants you to work for them, just they'll just give you the, the equipment for free. We'll, we'll send you the laptop. We'll send you the headset, whatever you need. We'll send it to you. We want you that bad. You spend no money with us. 
if it's that serious that they want you to really, to really work, they want you to work for them. But to send this high amount of money to you, some random person in the world, free money, this amount for free? Are you kidding me? It's a scam operation. This is not normal. I keep showing this check so you so, so you can just see it. It looks so real. But it's fake. It's a fake check. So that's what's going on right now. I hope you got some value from this content. Again, this is just an awareness. Um, just get out this message so you can just watch it. Whether you're in a tech field or whatever field you're into that, that works from home. Maybe you're a customer service rep. Whatever. Work from home job. Just do not fall victim to anyone sending you sending you free money to go buy goods so you can start working from home or whatever. Do not be a victim. Use your brain. Do not be gullible. I hope this helps. Much love to you. Catch you on the next video, the next episode of Juicy Tech. I'm your host once again, Ariel D. Juice, and um, happy Friday. It's Friday. And yeah, I'm out of here. Much love to you. Thanks for watching. Peace out.